Junction Boulevard, Queens. Also pronounced Yongshong Boulevard, depending on what country you're from. So this is Yongshong Boulevard. And earlier today, I'm with my son, right? And we walking down Yongshong Boulevard, and I got attacked by a Buddhist. What do you mean attacked by a Buddhist? Did she punch me in my face? No, no, no. Did she curse me out? No, none of that. By the way, Hare Krishna. First of all, always begin with the supreme names of the Lord. I'm minding my business like I usually do, just minding my business. And the Buddhist lady ran up on me, right? She was kind of aggressive with it. She ain't speak no English or nothing, right? And she put this picture of Kuan Yin in my hand. What is this Kuan Yin at? What is Kuan Yin that she gave me? So a Kuan Yin, in case you don't know, is a Bodhisattva. So she ran up on me, put this, work smoothly, lifetime peace. And on the other side you got, says, Kwai Guang Amulet. So this is Namas, the name is Guan Yin Bodhisattva. The word Bodhisattva, you know, that's actually what brought me into coming into contact with Krishna consciousness was the word Bodhisattva, which Buddhi is intelligence, consciousness, and Sattva or Sattva is goodness, truth, Sat, eternity, reality. It's equivalent to the word Ma'at in ancient Kemet. So the lady ran up on me, right? And she came and put these beads on my hand. I don't know if you know anything about these beads or what they mean. You know what I mean? They have some like Asian symbols on them. I don't know if that says like peace, love, prosperity. It could say chicken fried rice. I really don't know what this thing is, but it says something, right? Cool. And that's the jacket design. Don't know. He's wearing a ripped up coat. No, it was I bought it like that. Alright, so stop fun. Alright, I'll get a new jacket when it's time. But this jacket is A-OK -okay with me. It's name brand, all of that. But anyway, right? So continue on. So the lady, right? Ran up on me. She don't speak no English. She puts this amulet on my hand now. In case you don't know. I already got mad amulets. This multicolored thing right here is like a, a, a swami. This swami that be in southeastern Queens, um, he he ran up on me in the temple one day talking about Sham, Sham, Krishna Sham, you Sham, Krishna black, you black, an Indian, you remember him? You remember him? <laughs> Krishna, he's black, you, you black, that's how he speak, you black. Krishna Black. So he puts this thing, this multicolored thing on my wrist, right? I don't even know if it's Vedic in origin or what, but it's supposed to represent like the colors of the day of the week or whatever. So he puts it on my hand and he burns it onto my hand and he wants a donation. This is how people are doing now to get money. They ambush you to get donations, right? So homeboy, he put it on my hand, burnt it on my hand. He burnt one on my son's hand. I guess it got um represents the potencies of the days of the week and the demigods, all that good stuff, right? And then I got another amulet on my hand, which is like a friendship brace. Now, listen, I like L O Cool J, rock the bells and all of that, right? But this amulet got bells on it. But you know, it was a friendship bracelet and it represents protection, prosperity. I posted a link about this friendship bracelet on Facebook. And somebody blasted me, oh, that's not Vedic in origin, boom, boom, boom. Like, dang, I'm just innocent, man. I just somebody put a friendship bracelet on my wrist. So I just put the link on the wall. Anyway, so this is apparently not Vedic in origin. Good, whatever. Out of respect, I'm still going to wear my bell bracelets. Because, hey, Krishna, 5,000 years ago, he was wearing bells. And Egyptians, was males were wearing makeup. I'm not interested in wearing makeup or two earrings, whether they sharp earrings or not. I'm not interested in that stuff or ankle bracelets. I'm not that kind of guy. I was raised in Queens. It's a little different in 2014 than it was 5,000 years ago. But as it is, out of respect and love, I wear what people give me. So I got a couple of amulets. Now the thing that's on my right hand that is Vedic in origin is the white one. The white one that's on my hand, that represents Lord Jagannath. That's the clothes he was wearing it was bathed in Abhi Sheikh, so that's Vedic in origin, right? But the point being is, so I got all these amulets now. I don't even know what they mean, but I guess it's good luck, good fortune. But the lady ran up on me, was asking for donations and all of that in her language or whatever language. So she pulls out a book. I put my name in it. I put my address in there. And I'm seeing people gave a $25 donation, $50 donation. Man, I gave her two dollars, man. 
she looked at me like I was crazy. Now remember, this is supposed to be a spiritual society. Boom, boom. You take what you get. You take what Allah gives you. You take what Buddha gives you. You take what Krishna gives you. No. She looked at me like I was from Mars. Two dollar? Yeah, two dollar. I'm giving you two dollar. She, so she pulls out a picture of a temple that they're building, right? And I said, I got a temple to build too. I'm like, I'm Hare Krishna. So I show her Lord Jagannath. I'm like, yo, I'm Hare Krishna. I got a temple to build too. Like the $2. So she took the $2. I was about to take my $2 right back and give her her beads back. I don't need more beads. I got to know. I got Tulasi, Verinda Devi. I don't need all of this extracurricular stuff. As long as I'm doing my japa and trying to follow the regulated principles to the best of my ability, then I'm getting somewhere. You know, I'm trying to make advancement little by little. Speaking of advancement, this is the month of Kartik. Kartik, the presiding deity or the ruling deity of the month of Kartik is none other than Sri Mati Radharani. So this month is actually Jai. So this month is actually extremely important to Krishna because there's nothing that Krishna loves more than Sri Mati Radharani because she is a portion of his energy called Hladini. His Hladini Shakti. Shakti is Oh man, this word Shakti is everlasting from the material to the spiritual plane. It represents power, energy, more from the feminine side. So she's everything that pleases Krishna is embodied in Srimati Radharani. So this month, she's the presiding deity. Anything you do in this month, you get like 100 the result, 1,000 the result, 1 million the result. You get so much benefits. In other words, if you take a vow in any month of the year, you normally get one lifetime's result. Whatever vow you take for the Lord, you get that result back. By the way, we're walking past a Buddhist temple right now. This is 97th Street. We on the Corona side of Queens right now. This actually, oh, I see them back there. They're doing their, they're doing their thing. Okay. Haribo. This is called the New York Dhamma Ram Temple. Dhamma Ram Temple. I actually went in there and they have a nice nice murti of buddha it looks like it's solid gold it's really nice right in here new york Dhammaram temple so you know we got a little auspicious energy popping off in corona queens but being that this is the month of kartik like i said anything you do auspicious anything if you chant one round it's worth a hundred rounds if you make a vow and keep your vow for this month you get the benefit for 100 lifetimes me I'm not into pious activities I'm not into good deeds what does that mean I'm going around sinning and being a bad man no I'm not into good deeds and I'm not into bad deeds I'm not looking for more karma the more karma you create whether bad or good you have to get paid for that and because you have to get paid for that you wind up taking rebirth in successive lifetimes I'm trying to wrap up wrap it up wrap it up you know hurry up hurry up let's get up out of here I'm trying to get up out of here you know, if possible, I'm trying to go back to Godhead, even in this very lifetime or in the next lifetime. I'm trying to be up out of here. So I'm not into doing pious deeds. I'm not interested in giving money to homeless people or feeding homeless people. If I'm going to feed a homeless person or a rich person, I want to give them prashad. Prashadam is Krishna's mercy. You can go into another YouTube video and find out the science about prashadam. But I'm only really interested at this point in transcendentally based activities that could end the cycle of samsara. So I'm not interested in being a Buddhist or Mayavadi or none of that or a Christian. I'm not interested in living in a paradise earth like a Jehovah Witness. I'm trying to get up out of here. End the cycle of birth and death. Even my grandmother this morning told me so early in the morning, Caprice, I'm tired. You know how much pain that old lady goes through? Like, God forbid, if she leaves this planet, I'm not even really going to cry too much. As much as I love her, yo, I see my grandmother go through a lot of ubra karma, a lot of pain, material, physical pain, and I don't want to see her going through all of that. So if she says she's tired and Krishna wants to take her, I would be happy for her. That's right. I'm not praying for her death. I'm just praying for an end of her suffering, which we all should be looking to make a solution to our suffering. Rebirth is not a good deal. The material world is no place for a gentleman. So, when a homeless person asks me for money, I would rather give them a, a sandwich, give them something to eat, take care of their physical body if I can, take care of their soul in the name of the, in the form of the holy names or giving them some prashadam, that's even better. 
I'm not into pious activities because pious activities will also cause rebirth. And what's the, oh, what's so wrong with that? You're going to wind up being reborn again. You're going to be rich. You're going to be powerful, famous. You're going to be so sexy. You're going to be so attractive. You're going to be so smart. You're going to be born in a family of devotees. Doesn't matter. In the material world, pa de pa de, there's danger at every step. Just because you're born in a family of devotees, or you're born rich, or you're born attractive, that don't mean your skin can't get burnt in the fire and you wind up ugly. That don't mean devotees can't fall down. That don't mean a rich man can't turn poor. So I'm not trying to stick around in this material quagmire. I'm trying to get up out of here. So no, usually when a homeless person or somebody run up on me asking me for money, I tell them straight up, listen, I need your money. That's how I, I, listen, I need what's in your pockets right now. I'm not mean and heartless, but I'm not trying to create more and more unnecessary karma. You got it? I'm not trying to create more unnecessary karma. You run up on me, you ask me for a dollar, I give you a dollar, you go buy cigarettes. I'm partially responsible, so now I got the karma of smoking a cigarette that I didn't even smoke. Or you go buy some crack, you go buy some liquor with the money I gave you. I'm empowering you. I'm in, 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 enabling you to go ahead and continue your sinful activities. Whereas I could have said Hare Krishna and gave you the most valuable treasure, which is a transcendentally situated treasure. Or I could have gave you prasadam, which when you eat prasadam, you are honoring so many trillions of living entities, bacteria, vi bacteria, viruses, pathogens, um red cells blood cells leukocytes lymphocytes whatever you got so many different kinds of trillions of living entities in your body that benefit when you eat prashad but if i give a homeless person a ham sandwich they're not really benefiting if a man is drowning in the ocean and i pull him out the ocean did i save the man no i saved his body i did nothing for his soul so i'm not interested in taking care of people's body that's not what i'm all about i'm a, i'm about feeding your soul we've been looking after our body for the longest that's like you see this is like a cage right here. So you got a bird in the cage, you're, you're cleaning the cage, you're painting the cage, and you're not giving the bird any food, any water. That's what we're doing now. We're dressing so nice. We're having so much good sex. We're having so much good food. We're having a good time. We're watching the finest movies, but we're not doing nothing for the soul inside. So I'm not interested in building up more karma. And for the month of Kartik, I hope that everybody makes a little advancement more towards the spiritual side of life so we can end this cycle of suffering, death, birth, rebirth, old age, and disease. End the cycle. Hare Krishna. Hare Ball. You just say Hare Ball, right? Hare Ball. Jai Jai.